Welcome everybody. The other day I played Farming Simulator with more realistic mod turned off accidentally as I was testing out a map and well the the, <laughs> the basic game is just so disgusting now that I've played with more realistic mod. You you know you think Farming Simulator 17 feels real until you play with this mod and I just I do not think I could ever play the game again without more realistic mod. It's just, it is such a huge difference, especially for those of us that, you know, have driven a tractor in real life or even the basic cars, the, the, the basic vehicles or a semi trailer. It's just, they're so much more realistic with the more realistic mod. It does exactly what it says. And I realize that a lot of people, since it is in beta, a lot of people might not know of it and they, if they do, they don't know how to get started. So I just wanted to cover the basics in, in this video. And then in a future video, I, I wanted to cover basically how to convert a mod. If you have a little bit of modding experience, even if you've never created a mod yourself like, like me, I mean, I just understand the basics enough to get me in trouble. And I've been able to make a few conversions myself and to get them to work with the more realistic mod. So I also just wanted to show you how to do that. but. In this video, the first thing that we need to do is cover how to get the more realistic mod started. So you're going to want to go to fsuk.com, which is the best farming simulator community ever. And then you're going to, well, at least for the English language. And you're going to want to go to farming simulator. Uh, yeah, I already said that. So you're going to want to click on the forums. And there's actually a sub forum for the more realistic mod. If you scroll down here on the home page, you'll eventually find more realistic mod. You're going to want to click on that. And then you are, these others are important. We'll get to them later. The first thing you have to do is go to MR beta. On this page is basically what the mod covers and the, the current status and stuff like that. And, you know, stuff that, stuff about the mod. So read all that stuff at your leisure, click on the Google Drive, that is the most important thing. There are two files for the more realistic mod. One of them covers uh, gameplay, as the name says, things like changing crop prices to be realistic. And then the other one covers you know, all the vehicle physics and stuff like that. So the gameplay for each of these folders, you wanna click on it and go to the most recent version and download. And we'll just hit back and do the same thing for more realistic the most recent version and click download. So once downloaded, you are gonna wanna take both of those and put them in your mods folder. I actually emptied out my mod folder just to make this video a little bit more clear and paste them in there. And then as long as you start the game and have those mods enabled in the selection menu, you will be playing with more realistic mods if you were playing with a vanilla vehicle and I believe some of the coon pack, none of the bud pack is yet converted. But there's no separate mod category, shop category for more realistic version. This overwrites the basic files of the actual game, like vehicles overriding. You can go in here and see what specific vehicles are overwritten. So it, it basically overwrites the, well not overwrite, it, this XML file takes precedence over the one in the farming simulator data folder so it will use these values which are the more realistic settings instead of what the game has so again you don't have to buy a special vehicle it will just work there is some caution with using these mods with the basic mods you can find out more about that here but for now i want to cover one more extra important thing because like I said, this only covers vanilla vehicles. If you want to be able to use this with other mods that other people have created, Dural cannot certainly convert everything in the world himself. He still hasn't finished with the basic vehicles, let alone all the millions of mods out there from other people. So, oops, why did I do that? If you go back to the, where am I looking for? If you go back to the sub thread or the sub forum, and click on MR conversion database. This is the one that you want. So you click on this, it includes some instructions for how to get it up and going and some basic conversion, but basically that's what I'm gonna be doing for you guys. So just click on the link there. All right, once you are here, the very first thing you want to do is click on miscellaneous and click on more realistic XML data bank zip and download it. 
and then you are going to want to go to downloads and extract that and then this is actually a mod that you are going to want to put in your mod folder we'll go to our mods folder and paste it in there and remember as long as you are playing in single player you do not have to have your mod zipped you can have them unzipped for easy editing and they'll work just fine in single player they'll just give it a they'll just give a warning but you can ignore that so inside this it is empty right now but this is the important folder and the next step so say you want to get a mod working with more realistic mod you do not have to convert the entire mod you don't have to do anything with the actual mod itself so for example let's look at this one this is the black sheep modding semi all of the mods here on the database they have a link to the original mod so that you can be sure you are downloading the correct mod so let's just download that for example so you can see how it works and at the same time, we will also click download right here, which will actually download an XML file. And so this works just kind of the same way that I showed you this XML file will overwrite, well not overwrite, it will take precedence over the XML file in the vanilla actual mod. So let's go to our download folder and we will take this, right? And actually, let's delete that so we don't get confused. So this is the original mod. This is the XML. We will paste both of the, we'll, gra we'll grab both of them just to make it quicker. And we'll paste both of them in here, right? And this stays untouched again. This we need to put in our converted XML folder. And there you go. That's all you need to do to get a mod working with more realistic mod. So remember, this is actually a mod. When you go to start up a new game, especially if it's already on a saved map, you have to make sure that the more realistic XML databank mod is has a green check mark next to it, just like these. Everything that you want to use has to have a check mark next to it. Otherwise, it will not see any of these mods. And remember, it is set that it will take precedence over the vanilla, so you don't have to do any edits inside this folder at all. All you have to do is put a XML file there. So the only other case I want to cover for getting this working is sometimes, for example, the, let's say right there, the, the cubic liners. So if we look at the mod, you'll see that it includes three different trailers. So if we grab that, again, this process doesn't change where... Well, while we're waiting for that to download, this process doesn't change. This file will stay zipped. However, if you want to use this mod as more realistic, click download on this link again and see this is now I actually made this mod, so I made it clear unzip me, but others might not make it so obvious. So if you click download there and you don't see an XML file, what you need to do is unzip it and you will see the exact same thing that you saw when you unzipped one mod, you'll see those and you are going to want to put those in your converted XML folder. And then you're going to want to go back to downloads and grab the actual mod itself and just paste it in your mods folder. And remember, if you already have these mods, you don't need to actually download them again. That's just a reference file. All you need is the XML and as that's why we test them. So everything on this site should be tested. It should work just fine. Rest assured that if you have the XML in there, you should be using the more realistic version of the mod. The last thing I wanted to cover two more things. If you have actual problems with the more realistic mod itself, you can go back here and there's an actual MR support thread. Remember it is still in beta. So there is stuff that uh, Dural is working on. But post in here for the support thread, you can see different problems people might be having. I think there's a known conflict page, as I mentioned, on the MR beta thread. But if you actually have a specific question on support, just log it here in the support thread. And then finally, if you love this as much as I do, I highly recommend going here to the mod database website, 
clicking on read this and it will give you a link to Dural so that you can send him PayPal and send him lots and lots of money so that he can make more of the game more realistic. Uh, so I'm hoping that he'll eventually get to the big bud mods so I don't have to work on trying to convert them myself. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed in the next video. If you are a modder or uh, if you know just enough to get you in trouble like me, you will be able to cover, or excuse me, I will cover some basic mod conversions for how to get a mod that you love actually working with the more realistic mod. All right, so that should just about do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and yeah, uh, stay tuned for more.